Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast and I'm literally uh, just had the camera running while I was doing some test pours with leftover paint and um, I'm just gonna let you watch this and jump in where I feel I need to. That was like a caramel um, base coat that I had left over from another pour that I did so I'm just obviously going along merrily and having a good time with my paint. So I'll jump in where I feel I need to and hope you enjoy. I'm adding to a little cup now my colours that I'll use. I'm just going to um, load them in this small cup here. Having trouble with my container jar, the paint won't come out the top. So that's a gold I've got pre-made up in there. I'm just going to layer colours into this little uh, container and then move on from there. I have a purple, a really nice bright red, a cool red, white, and just layering those colours just nice and um, relaxing, I'll find it. That is turquoise and then I'll start back with the other colours again. So um, until I've got that little container full enough to do my pour. And here we go for a wiggle pour. I'm just wiggling it from side to side. So I've slowed it down just to show you. It's just those little hand movements like that. And hopefully I'm gonna get some really beautiful effects from this. Haven't done one of these for a while, um, but it's certainly nice and relaxing and I'm enjoying it. Hope you are too. Okay, all my colours are down, my wiggle, jiggle, pour is done and now I'm going to just take it really nice and easy and tilt this paint all over this canvas. The base coat really, I mean sometimes doesn't even show up, yes, but it helps the other paint slide over the top of it 
to create some lovely kind of geographic effects on your canvas which really sell well um, having the effect on canvas they do sell well Oh, this baby was slow moving those paints, which is a good thing because I find when they're on the, the paint is on the thicker consistency, they do move slower, but they seem to retain those, um, that gorgeous look of, uh, I don't know, I suppose it's like a cut stone. I'm giving a whiz over with my heat wand to burst any air bubbles and it's actually um, good to just allow it to dry. that was my stage one and of course it is beautiful like that but as I told you I was in my experimenting mode so they wait to see the edits so that is I mean if you had the painting um, reprinted you could have it any size you like prints put a frame on it but here's my next bit I am definitely editing this one and just carrying on with the fun and I've now put some um, of my purple with Australian Floetrol that's all that little bottle had and I'm going to give it a swipe and oh boy oh boy look at these lovely cells that appear it's always a joy to see this happen I never get tired of it so I just wanted to go on the next stage and use my favorite tool in my toolbox and you all know what that is if you do follow me regularly is my balloon so I'm gonna just really am gonna keep this minimal I promise I promise Oh, so happy with this little baby it is just a delight and when I bring you down to see those cells which my camera's not picking up very successfully you'll see why I love it so much boy oh boy just look at that absolutely gorgeous colors they definitely look like gems don't they precious gemstones absolutely gorgeous and it's just glistening because of that first coat that I particularly that I put on I'd got a, um, a metallic in it and then just those few kisses you see what a lovely um, painting this makes for whatever reason it was looking more uh, turquoise on there but it was more purplish so yeah absolutely gorgeous with my um, creative exploits today just experimenting with things and enjoying my paints and I hope you enjoyed watching and join me again tomorrow so my lovelies get busy and create until tomorrow bye for now